Okay. Now tonight we're focusing on the root chakra. Now the root chakra, it's all about the earth. It's all about being here, who you are, feeling safe, feeling secure. Now what do you do if you're feeling safe and secure? What you got? Your strength, your health, yeah. Your health, you've got energy, you've got, yeah, you've got a good job, you've got a good relationship, you've got good money. You know, you're feeling secure in life, okay? But if you're feeling fear, okay, and what, what more primal emotion is there than fear, that really sort of sticks it to you in the root chakra. Okay, so the root chakra is a lot about your safety, your security, about your body, your flesh, your bones, and then it's also a lot about how you deal with fear. Okay? Now other things like your chakras, they, they sort of they can tell you about how you're feeling if your chakras are out of balance. Because if you're in balance, everything's good. And if you're too heavy on one side, or if you're too heavy on the other side, you're out of balance. It's, it's not working well. And we can talk about the chakras being excessive. There's too much energy in there. I'm going to teach you now a Chinese yoga exercise called lifting the sky. Now it's one of the basic ones, but it's also one of the most powerful ones. And it's going to sort of start tuning you into the energy around you, and we're combining movement of the body, breathing, and visualization. Okay, so you start, okay, with your feet together. All right, properly, yeah, okay, feet together, okay. So just keep, keep standing for the moment, you know, I'll just demonstrate it to you for the moment. Okay, so you then bend the knees, that's a bit like skiing, you know, bend the knees, yeah? All right. You take your toes out, you take your ankles out. Now that gets your feet about shoulder width apart. And then you bend your knees slightly, you're just in a nice, relaxed position, nice and balanced, okay? And you start off with the hands down by the thighs. You take a nice deep breath, okay? Now, breathing is a skill, okay? We have, we, we're perfect at it when we're babies, we tend to forget as we grow up, because we tend, we, when we're babies, we breathe with the belly, okay? If you watch my hand, okay, there's a difference between breathing with the belly and breathing with the chest. I'm going to breathe with the chest. I'm going to breathe with the belly. Can you see that my hand on the belly was moving, but when I was belly breathing, so the hand with the chest wasn't. We want to breathe with the belly. Okay, so we're taking the breath right down, down into the guts. And we're going to be breathing in, let's say on a count, or a count of four. And then breathing out three times as long. And you really want to be squeezing your stomach out until you've got nothing left. And then breathing in again. Okay, that's belly breathing, Buddha breathing, baby breathing. So that's the first part of it. Oh, I'm getting dizzy already. Okay. Second part, okay? You've got your hands down by your thighs. And you just bring the fingertips up so they're pointed towards each other. Okay? And imagine, okay, this is where you start getting your visualization in. Imagine you've got a golden ball, like a, was it, a beach balloon. Okay? You're holding a golden ball, yeah? Now I want you to breathe in. You lift that ball up to the heart. That's it. That's it, good. You then take the hands over, and it's now like the ball is full of helium. It wants to float away, but you're going to push it down. Well, it's almost like a, pushing a football underneath the water. You then push it down, breathing out. That's it. Keeping the fingertips pointing towards each other. Good, well done. Okay, now, keeping fingertips pointing towards each other. Hand, the palms are going to face outwards, and you're going to lift the hands up to the sky. Breathing in. Watch out for the glasses, bottle of beers in front of you, purse in the back of the head in front of you. That's it, stretching up. Now the head's going to go slightly back, and you're going to be stretching up. That's it. Now feel that. Now you can see here, at this point, like a white shower coming down over you, just washing everything away, just really relaxing you, energizing you, going into every cell of your body. Beautiful. Marvelous, okay? And then breathing out, hands down the sides, like flapping your angel wings. That's it. Try not to slap the person behind you. Okay, that's good. That's it. I know, we're very friendly here. Good. Okay, you do that, okay, for 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, after about a month, you will notice that all sorts
throws the stuff at you. You can notice tingling, energy. You might start feeling stuff, heat, um, tasting things, seeing things. It's great, and it gives you more energy. It makes you, you better. It gives you stronger. It makes you healthier. Okay. So that's a bit about the secret about qigong and lifting the sky.